everybody, hope you're all well. Right, tomorrow morning, I want you down to peer out at 10 o'clock. Push. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Right, first things first. I want you down to peer out at 10 o'clock in the morning. Put your bags, keep brushed, hair combed, because we're going to the Isle of Man. Yes, I'm on the ferry at 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to do the Isle of Man. Now, for those that don't know, I actually grew up in the Isle of Man. I went to school there, so I know the place really well. What I'm going to do tomorrow is when I go down to the pier head, I'm going to get on the camera, but I'm not going to go to the security bit. We're getting our tickets and all that, it's just been open. But when I get onto the ferry, before we leave, I'll go up onto the deck and I'll bring my camera with me and I'll show you who's leaving the pier head, going down the Mersey, out at sea in the Irish Sea at some point when we're at speed, I'll show you that as well. Arriving in Douglas in the Isle of Man, and when I get there, Amy and my grandson Milo are going to be there to meet me. And we're going from there up to Douglas Head, and I'll show you Douglas from Douglas Head. I'll have a little chat to you up there for a minute, and you can see Amy and Milo. And then I'll end that one there, which you'll see next Saturday, because I'm there till Thursday, but I'll come back and edit. But what we're going to do then as well, we're going from the top of the Isle of Man, the point of air, all the way down. What I'm going to do with the drone, I'm going to get where the point is, where it needs to water. The drone, obviously, you can see the Isle of Man, and then we're going to work our way down. Um, farmhouses. Just loads, loads of places uh, to do. Some abandoned as well. We're gonna go over there. Uh, Amy and Scott have got me a few places to go and look at. So we're gonna go and look at that. But I'm gonna fit other little bits in as well. Second wheel wall radar site. If we can get that, I'll try and get up up, up, to, up to the top of that. But, but, yeah, we should get it. Should be alright. I'll take you to the old RAF base where I used to live as well. Uh, RAF JB. I'll take you up there and show you some second world war bunkers and give you a little bit of history of that as well. But I'm going to try and squeeze as much as I possibly can in over two days to show you some of my own homes and things like that. We're going around in the car so we've got plenty of, plenty of opportunities to stop and show you things. I'll go to the ferry bridge as well. I might get to the ferry bridge and go underneath it actually and go into the, go into the little stream with the camera. I'm actually camping out as well. I'm staying in a tent. I hope you're going home. Yeah, so <laughs> I want to be camping out as well, which is something that I want to do just to make it a little bit more thingy. And uh, so I, I can't wait to get over there and get get started because I know what's coming. I know I know what I know what we're gonna say. I can't wait. I really can't. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I've got a few abandons as well that Scott and Amy have already done one and they're going to take me up to have a little look at that. Pool tables and stuff like that. You'll also see uh, my son David, he's going to be in it as well. He's going to be in some of the videos as well. He might be able to get us into somewhere, possibly, we'll have to see. Um, I'll speak to him when we get over there about that and see what we can do. But Milo's going to be in the videos as well because he's going to be in all, all the daytime videos. And I've got a little camera there for him as well. And I'm going to try and get a lead and get it charged up. And I can put some of the some of the footage from Milo's little camera into some of the videos. So we well, can put two sets of footage. And Mark Salinger, if you want to bring his book and speech, you can I'm in the mic. <laughs> I was actually gonna do this last night. I went out to an abandoned building last night and hoping to get into the basement and I couldn't get into the basement. I went right around the building and it was sealed and very, very dark indeed. I didn't get back till two o'clock last night. It was yeah, it was an intestine one, um, trying to walk around on the twigs and that because it's flat either side and yeah, it was great fun. Been working away behind the scenes as well, I haven't been, I haven't been idle. As you can see, I probably have changed the banner of the group and I've been changing things on the channel as well, behind the scenes, some of the tags, I've got new tags up, I've done other little bits and bobs as well, just to try and push me forward now for that. Um, a thousand subscribers, I'm not too far off now. I only need 270, I think it is, something like that. I can do that. So, don't forget, 10 o'clock. On the top, I'll see you at the pillar. The, pillar. the funny thing is, when you're what if you're watching this now in the morning, I've just dropped this and gone straight down to the boat. So if you're watching this first off, I'm probably already recording the video you're going to see next week as you're watching it because I've just dropped this and gone straight out the door. It's the day before, but I'm going to drop it in the morning and then leave. So I'll see you at the pier head. Well, I'll see you on the boat. Well, I'll see you at the pier head because I'm going to start the video there. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing because I put that other one up 
saying, I'm not going to be too long, and then you're probably thinking, well, where is he? I'll see you at the pier in the morning. Take care, and I'll see you very soon. I can't wait. This is going to be so good.